plugins, plugins, plugins. Every time we need a new functionality on a WordPress website, we just go and install a new plugin on a WordPress website. And plugins are pretty cool. We get the work done in just few seconds. But wait a second. Sometimes we install so many plugins, our website become complex, hard to manage and slower. I'm not saying that do not use plugins. Plugins are pretty cool. Don't be afraid to use the plugins, but sometimes we can avoid some basic plugins. So I'm starting a new series on this channel where I'll show you how we can avoid some basic plugins on a WordPress website. So websites stay more simple, fast and easy to manage. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you want to learn something from this amazing new series. It will be fun, I promise you. And don't forget to share this video with somebody who are learning WordPress or they're managing a website. In future, I'm gonna make so many videos in this series where we can avoid some basic plugins. But for now, let's see these five plugins. So first plugin we can avoid is to add Google Analytics or Facebook pixel code on our WordPress website. Let me show you how you can do this without plugin. So when you have your Google Analytics code, just copy this code Go back to WordPress dashboard, hover on appearance and click on theme editor. Make sure you're making these changes in child theme. If you're wondering about what is child theme, I'm going to put a link about the video that what are child theme and how amazing they are. So when you're on this page, just click on header.php and in your header.php, find this head and just come here and paste this code and update the file. You can repeat this same for Facebook pixel code also. You can copy this code, go back to the header.php and paste this code. Done. You don't need any plugin to install Google Analytics or Facebook code or any kind of other tracking code on your website. And there's a fun tip. Every time you add a custom code on your website, you can add some command with it. For example, this Facebook pixel code starts here and Facebook pixel code ends here. So when you come here next time, you know what is the purpose of this code. In case you switch your themes, you can just copy this code from here and add to child theme of header.php in your new theme. And if you're worried about breaking your site, don't be so afraid. It is not a rocket science. If you know how to take back off your website, you can always recover your website. And seriously, if you put a little attention on what you're doing, you will not have any bad thing happening on your website. And if it happens, you can always recover it. And hey, it's fun to learn new things and take control on your website. And with just little effort, you can be more confident to manage your website and you can save a lot of money on paying the paid plugins or hiring a developer for your website. Okay, let's see second example. Second example is social sharing buttons. You know, these kind of buttons, there are so many plugins for it. But if you go to the website, click here, get started, click here, share buttons and you select what kind of buttons you want. For example, if you take the floating button, click continue and click on activate tool. Now you will get this code. You can add this code on any website, on WordPress website, on HTML website, on any kind of website. Just copy this code. You go back to your website and this time don't go to header.php. We're going to footer.php because we're adding this code in footer. So it will not make your website slower. Just go down and before body tag ends, just add this code and done. And you will have floating social share buttons on your website. Pretty easy. Let's see the third example. You see the top banner on my website here. You do not need any plugin to add this. Let me show you how easy it is to implement this. So I went to my header.php file and I add just this simple piece of code where it say receive over 5000 star and I add the image star image and verify reviews and counting. I just add the small code and to give it a little bit style, I add some background, the text color, padding, and some width and height. Pretty easy. It is not rocket science. And I was able to add this top banner on my website without using any plugin. And fourth example is backup plugins. We can avoid backup plugins completely. We can create more reliable backup using cPanel. Or if you want, you can just download WP Content folder from your website and database. And it will be more reliable backup than any of other backup plugins available on WordPress. And the fifth example will be to adding custom JS and CSS on your website. You can just go to a child theme. If you're adding a JS, which doesn't need to go in head, you can go to footer.php and before HTML tag ends, you can add that JavaScript code here. Again, we have more control that where we are adding the JavaScript. So if you're adding footer, it will not make websites slower. Same thing you can do with CSS also. You can add CSS also in your theme file directly. These are just simple examples. I will be covering a lot of things in future in most simple way and guide you that how you can implement those simple things on your website. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see all those amazing videos coming in this series. And guys, if you want to improve your website speed scores, check out this video on your screen. Thank you so much. See you in another video.